Hello. First ever 70 pound adventure and obviously tour bike trailers. 70 pounds. These are all aluminum. I'm Scott Kenny, 23 distribution in the United States. I'm up here at the uh, Salon Motorcycle Show in Montreal, Canada with the rally carts. I'm introducing the first ever all aluminum series of Gen 2 uh, adventure bike trailers. These are all aluminum. Come a little closer if you'd be so kind as to just hit a couple of areas. 70 pounds. This entire trailer, 70 pounds by far over engineered. By that I mean, just one example, the bearing in the front here, 10,000 pounds. Where are you ever going to use a 10,000 pound bearing? <clears throat> uh, foolish little details like these little lights, ungodly bright. Okay, of course, we all want to be seen when we're going down the road. Every little thing you can imagine. Uh, Roto pack uh, for gas cans, pre cut. So you can put gas cans all around the unit. Uh, this is the uh, uh, open carry uh, below. You can buy just the trailer and go pick your own toolie up. Then we've got a medium and large dog. Uh, uh, transports. You can see a closed transport, which you'll be able to switch the top to a dog transport. You can see over here, Rubbermaid. You go down to your local store and grab a Rubbermaid. Put it on your stock trailer. Inside, you'll notice uh, for the dog to keep strapped in. Right down to the detail of your locks. All right, could you kind of come close? I want you to see. Look at the quality of the bends, the welds. That's unbelievable. Look at that. You, you, and from, I don't know, two feet away, you can't even see it. Uh, all aluminum. So the market, just to kind of speed things up for you a little bit. I came after this product line. We're undercutting the market by probably 25%. I'm giving you a wing it number. Hopefully I'm low and I think I'm low. Uh, the quality of the build is absolutely ridiculous compared to the competition out there. So now go look. What you're going to see is a dog carrier from a minimum six grand uh, in fact, no. The only thing I could think of was eight thousand uh, dollars, and here we're coming in way back at that. We're not some piece of fiberglass shoved on top of a a, 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 a trailer frame. Uh, these are obviously highly engineered. When I said earlier, race car drivers. Well, oh, I don't know. Carl just finished Terminators, or not Terminator? Excuse me, uh, a Transformers movie. Uh, not bad, going around the world for r racing cars, Jean-Marc, uh, 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 motorcycles around the world, racing, not bad, uh, and then the, look at the engineering. So I think you get the point of why I'm so excited and I went after the only in its entire field. And then we've undercut the market. So that's why I've got the interest in the distribution of this product. And we've done the exact same thing on the rally carts, which I'll go into on the next video. I may comment we're on Gen 2. These units are by far over-engineered. I've never seen anything like it in my life. They're over-engineered by motorcycle and race car professionals. These are renowned race car motorcycles. Uh, drivers, in, obvious enthusiasts. Rally cart, 
Uh, also builds the Rally Racing car, uh, which will be in both complete form and kit form, which I'll introduce in the next video. So again, I'm Scott Kenny, uh, 23 Distribution, uh, taking care of the United States. And I appreciate your taking a look at the next video on the rally carts. That one's going to open your eyes beyond belief, I can assure you. Uh,